Welcome back. This is Outside White Mountains. Chris Peru on location. We've been traveling the White Mountains, going to some of the area's most fun attractions and things to do. And what would summer in the White Mountains be without a stop at the Weather Vane Theater in Whitefield, New Hampshire, with here with one of the cast members this summer, Blair St. Clair. People may recognize you from your stint on RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10 and also RuPaul's Drag Race all Stars Season 5. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here and in the North Country this summer, too. This is fantastic. Well, let's get right into the show that you are a part of. Uh, you are starring as Jamie New in the global regional premiere of Everybody's Talking About Jamie. And this was a winner for Best Musical at London's What's On Stage Awards. It's running July 31st through August 29th in repertory. You have been quoted as saying this is one of your dream shows and dream parts. What is, what is the show about and what makes this one of your dream roles? Yeah, um, thanks for asking. Jamie is such an exciting role, and everybody's talking about Jamie is such an exciting show. And how exciting for us in the United States, um, actually in the world, this is the first time, what a regional premiere is, is the first time a regional theater is getting the chance to do material that was once done, whether that comes from Broadway. In this instance, it actually is coming from the West End in um, the UK. So we're the first theater you know, in the world that gets to do that, and how exciting. Jamie is such a special role and show because it is about... Um, a boy who is finding and accepting his queerness, but also um, has this dream and aspiration of possibly becoming a performer in life. And that performer, we find out, happens to be a drag queen, which drag happens to be all the rage right now, happens to be big, you know, bigger than better than it's ever been before. And um, Jamie's character has so much depth to it. And it's so special to me, particularly because a lot of roles, um, TV, film, musical theater, when they're written for drag roles, for drag queens or drag artists, it's typically written for the laugh of, of the show, the gimmick, you know, something that's a spectacle and fun to see. But Jamie has even more grit to him. He has a lot of depth and he's a real person that I can relate so much to. And the storyline of him finding his queerness and, and finding himself but also like getting to understand who he is is such like, a beautiful story to tell. And how did you get involved in this show? You obviously, you've got major film credits. You have a number one album on Billboard's uh, top dance charts. You have performed, you know, globally or, or across the country. What brings you to the Weathervane Theater in, in Whitefield, New Hampshire? How did you get involved in this show? Well, it's funny you ask because I actually, um, before establishing and finding a drag career and having like all these incredible opportunities that I've been awarded, um, I was first in theater and was studying theater, and I found my drag persona through La Caja Fall, which is a musical that involves drag artists and performers. And so after like finding that I could do the art and illusion of drag and performance outside of the theater, I started developing this this character, but it's always been my goal and my aspiration to come back to theater where I've started. My drag persona comes from um, this rooted theatrical um, performer, and I've always like rooted it in musical theater. So when I found out that the show was happening, it's never been done anywhere besides in the UK. I was so excited. I told my agent, I was like, I have to audition for this project. I want to be considered, and you know, they see several people for auditions everywhere and I just so happen to be as lucky as I am to get to be here all summer. So you obviously have a lot of passion for this show. How do you balance what you do? Do you consider yourself one type of performer over another? And how do you choose, you know, what your what your next project is? I consider myself to be a little crazy, actually. <laughs> I'm I'm constantly battling um, multiple different facets of things because I've uh, I'm lucky to have so many interests and things that I do. But my heart and passion is always has always lied in theater, mm -hmm. and that's where I've I feel alive, and that's where I've always come from. And um, all these other aspirations that I've had in my career have come from experience building in a way to get back into theater. My biggest aspiration in life, my biggest dream, is to do the best theater possible, whether that is regionally, whether that's off-Broadway, on-Broadway, on tour, as long as I can do the best work that I can do and do it to a way that's fulfilling, that's what I want to do. So this show just happened to be like that avenue to be able to do that. And we have, we have aspirations. This show, we want to take it somewhere. We, yeah. would, we hope to see it continue and to grow. Well, what's it been like to debut this in Whitefield, New Hampshire? Again, you've played around the country and had you know, success in film, stage, cabaret. What's it like to work at the Weather Vane with this cast and crew? This has been a special experience. And I'm not just telling you that because you are talking to me about the weather van and we are talking about, everybody's talking about Jamie and its global regional premiere, but I've had such an incredible experience with this show particularly because I don't often get to work in a space where everyone is nice, 
Everyone around is so excited about the work. They're so passionate. And here, everyone has the opportunity to work in rep for several months at a time, you know, playing multiple characters, doing multiple things throughout the season at, at the Weather Vane this summer. And everyone just happens to be so excited to be here and is embracing me with open arms, made me feel like a part of a family. And that's something that you can lack at times when you're so focused on the work, focused on the goal of like opening a show or doing something, selling tickets. But here, the focus has been about like family and togetherness. Right. And that's something that's embraced me that I've not experienced, you know, too often. And that, that's, it's been a blessing. All right, we are talking with Blair St. Clair. He is the, uh, the star starring as, starring as Jamie New in the global regional premiere of Everybody's Talking About Jamie. It runs July 31st through August 29th in alternating repertory at the Weathervane Theater in Whitefield, New Hampshire. What do you hope, in parting, what do you hope people take away from this show? You know, I don't hope that this show changes lives overnight. That's not the goal. I hope that people can relate to the story and say, I might not understand Jamie New and his, his who he is, but I respect him and I can live alongside with him. If you have opposing views um, about queerness or about drag and its community and the queer community as a whole, but I just hope people can see the show, um, learn a little bit and just leave with some love and you will definitely have fun. To buy tickets or for information on the other shows at the Weather Vane this summer, go to weathervanenh.org. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. You're watching outside.